Hi, I'm Dr. Brian LaPointe, Research Professor with Florida Atlantic University's Harbor Branch Oceanographic Institute. I've spent decades studying water quality issues throughout Florida, including nutrient pollution and harmful algal blooms. This project with the Florida Chamber provides me and my colleagues an opportunity to share this research so the public can better understand how human activities are impacting Florida's water resources. The entire coastal region of Sarasota County is really critical to the overall county. It's, you know, we're recognized with Siesta Key as the number one beach in the country. Many of our visitors come here for a lot of different reasons, but a big part of that is access to the water. And so it's really critical to us when we think about uh, why they come, water quality is a big part of that. One in five jobs in the Tampa Bay watershed depend upon a clean, healthy bay, which is pretty incredible. And it's approaching about $4 billion a year in terms of the economy of the area. Tampa Bay, Sarasota Bay, and Charlotte Harbor are all part of the National Estuary Program system. There are 28 around the United States, four of them here in Florida, so we have uh, more than any other state. One of the, the major triggers for the citizen outcry that happened in the, in the late 1970s were the mats of mac macroalgae in Hillsborough Bay that were washing up along the shoreline. We strongly suspect that this, this fecal contamination is coming from leaking in failed septic systems not very far away from the public beach. And just think about that, how critical that is. If it continues to degrade, it will have a very negative effect on our local economy. Where septic tanks work and excel are where you have areas where there's low density, low groundwater table, and good draining soils. Sarasota County is blessed with none of those. So all those loads that are coming from uh, every toilet and drain within the watershed are basically getting into streams and creeks by, via groundwater uh, out into our bays. Here in Sarasota County, I think we've been fortunate because of sound science a number of years ago identifying water quality as a priority. And so our Board of County Commissioners have made sure that that's included in, in our comprehensive plan language as well as our annual and five-year plans for our capital improvement programs. And a big part of that was looking at what do we do with septic tanks and how do we improve our current conditions here due to the consolidation of the wastewater treatment plants and the uh, septic to sewer program that was implemented in Sarasota County. We've had consistent improving water quality trends throughout the Bay and improving seagrass coverage. Citizens now are actively looking forward to the areas coming online with central sewer. Uh, most of the most vocal voices who opposed the program early on are now very happy customers within the system and most citizens are happy now that they see this program coming forward. Helping the environment is not, you know, in opposition to helping the economy, you know, and that, that's, such a, that's such an important message and, and one I think that Tampa Bay has been fortunate to see.